everyone. This is Jessica from the Blinky Chicks team. I received a request asking me to do a setup of the iPhone using voiceover. My friend Daniel just couldn't resist getting in on the action, so here he is to show you how to do that today. And today we're going to be setting up an iPhone 5. So there are definitely going to be some screens that are different. Different from newer devices. Yes, such as Touch ID screens and Apple Pay screens. So I'm going to triple click the home button to turn on voiceover. Voiceover on. It looks. So now I'm on the screen that is basically just a globe that spins. Ciao. I guess it spins and it rotates to different languages saying hello. 안녕하세요. And slide to set up. So we're going to slide with three fingers. Ning hao. Page one of two. Bring up the Français. screen. That button. Set up. English. Us. Button. To select our country. So I'm going to start at the top left of the screen. Three of three Wi-Fi bars. Status bar item. English. Button. So it has different options. So we're going to double tap on English. Back button. That would be our language, not our country. So now we're on a screen that, yes, now we get to pick our country. So... Select your country or region. I'm from the country of English. I speak United States. Hello. <laughs> United States. <laughs> so I'm going to double tap on United States. As we speak United Statesian. <laughs> next button enabled. Back button. So now our Back glorious button. next button has become enabled. Next button. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Heading. Because now we are on the choose a Wi-Fi network screen. Yesy's Wi-Fi network. Choose a Yesy net 5G. Yesy net. Secure. Signal strength 84%. Enter password. Password. Secure. Now, Text field is editing. Screen. Character mode. Insertion point at start. Is set to standard typing, which means you have to find each letter and then double tap on it. But I'm going to rotate two fingers. Typing mode. Clockwise to typing mode. Flick down once. Touch typing. To touch typing. More. Number. And that just allows you to find the letter with voiceover. And once you release your finger, the letter is and put it into the vice. Yep. So there's a button at the top right that's labeled join, or you can simply just tap return on the keyboard. Join. Which join. Is also join. Dim. Which is kind of funny. Back button. So now we are on the screen. Location services. That talks about location services. And that is used for apps that need your current location, like maps, um, social media apps where you can tag your location in posts etc etc so today we are going to you can either have it disabled or enabled location services going... allows maps and other apps and services like find my iphone to gather and use data indicating your approximate location that was a little blurb explaining it about location services button enable location services button and if you guys could tell, the voice just changed. It downloaded the higher quality version. So we are going to tap on Enable Location Services. It passcode. Zero of four values entered. <clears throat> now it wants us to enter a passcode, but for this video, we are going to not enter one. So I'm going to flick to the Passcode right Options button. button. To the Passcode Options button. Double tap. Pass custom app passcode. Zero or four values entered. Now it brings up the screen that gives us various options for a custom password, which is letters and numbers, a six digit passcode, or the option we want, don't add passcode. Don't add passcode button. Don't add passcode alert. alert. Are you sure you don't want to again. use a passcode? Yes, I'm sure I don't want to use a passcode. They really want to make sure you really don't want to use one. So they bug you about it. A passcode secured your iPhone. Continue. Button. Tap continue. Or double tap. 
passcode. Zero or four. Setup as new iPhone. Button. And now we're on the screen that gives us various setup options. Back button. Back so, button. Apps and data. Either. Restore from iCloud backup. Button. Restore from iCloud backup. Restore from iTunes backup. Button. Restore from iTunes backup. That's the option I recommend and doing an encrypted iTunes backup, actually, because then if you have multiple passwords for various accounts, it will save those as well in the backup so you don't have to re-enter them when you set up the device again, because that can be tedious as well as extremely annoying. Set up as new iPhone or button. For today's purposes, we are going to set up as new iPhone or move data from Android button for you people who have Android and are switching, you can move your data from an Android device to an iPhone. Set up as new iPhone button. Set up as new iPhone, so double tap. Back button. Next, dimmed, Apple ID. Now we're on the screen that lets us sign in with our Apple ID. But for today's video, I'm going to skip that. That basically enables iCloud iMessage, FaceTime, iTunes Store, App Store, all of the Apple services basically get enabled at once when you sign in on this screen. Sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud, iTunes, the App Store, and more. Apple ID. Example, at iCloud.com. Text field. That's the Double tap to edit. Address. Password. Required. Secure. Text field. Don't have an Apple ID or forgot it? Button. That's the button I double tap to set up later. Back button. And then it brings up a little explanation about what an Apple ID is. Apple ID. Like I just explained. Forgot Apple ID or password. Button. Create a free Apple ID. Button. Set up later in settings. Button. Heading. I'm going to tap save. Set up later in settings. Set up alert. Are you sure you don't want to use an Apple ID? Then it asks me if I'm sure, really, 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 really sure, don't want to use one. You need an Apple ID. Use Apple ID, but don't use button. So I'm going to tap don't use. That little blurb was just telling me I need an Apple ID to use the services I had already described. Don't use. Don't use. Set up later in settings. Back button. Terms and conditions. Now we're on the good old boring terms and conditions screen. Agree. Button. So I'm just going to tap agree. Siri. Now we're on the screen that asks us if we want to turn on Siri, which I recommend doing because you can simply hold down the home button and ask it to do various things which are beyond the scope of this video. But I'm going to tap use Siri. Siri sends information. Look, Siri. Turn on. To use Siri, press and hold the home button. Turn on Siri. Button. Turn on Siri, not turn on Siri. Now we're on a screen that's apparently silent until I start flicking around. Help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending diagnostic and usage data. Diagnostic data may include location. You can also help app developers improve their apps by choosing to share your app activity and crash data with them through Apple. So these two screens. I'm going to tap enable or share because it's those screens are for diagnostics and the second screen shares with developers how you use their apps and crash data if they crash. Don't send, but diagnostic, diagnostic, about di send to Apple, button, back double button, tap send. Then double tap don't share, with app button, app analytics, screen. share, with, don't share, share with app developers. Welcome to iPhone. So then we're on the welcome to iPhone screen. Get started. Button. Get started button. So double tap on that. Get home. Pay. And now you are on your home screen with a brand new setup iPhone. So this concludes the video on setting it up with voiceover. I hope everybody found it useful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment in the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>